Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I will show you how you can project HDRI images into your scene in Blender so that they look real. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by pressing A, then X to clear the scene, and then press N and go into the HDRI maker, which you can find in the link in the description. And then I'm going to add one of the uh, 8K HDRIs. And as you can see, when we go into rendered view, we have the background image. And a really cool feature that we just added to the add-on is the HDRI projection, which means that the background image is projected so that it looks like it's a part of the scene. As you can see, we get the HDRI projection effects. And we can do that with uh, any of the HDRI images. As you can see, we can add a, a grass field and then adjust the height according to the uh, look of the background image. And uh, this add-on has a lot of uh, background images or HDRI images. So let's try one of the uh, CD HDRIs. And then click Add to add the HDRI image. And as you can see, the HDRI image is projected to the scene. And uh, now we can add an object so that you can see how objects interact with the projected HDRIs and also how you can get shadows into the scene. So I'm going to use a free model from uh, Sketchfab, which is a uh, huge fountain. And you can find this by just going into sketchfab.com and searching for fountains. And then a little bit down the page, you can find a bunch of uh, fountains. And then I'm going to select this one and download it and import it into Blender. So let's add the .obj file and then press S to scale. And as you can see, it looks like the object is inside a normal scene, even though it's just an HDRI background image, thanks to the add-on. So you can adjust the height to change the projection. And then you can also add a uh, sun. So I'm going to sync the uh, sun. And then let's select the uh, sun. And then press R twice to rotate the sun freely. And as you can see, not only do we get shadows on the object, but we also get shadows on the HDRI. So uh, let's add a camera. And then press numpad zero to uh, look through the camera. And then let's go into view and lock the camera to view. And then I'm going to use the mouse wheel to go a little bit backwards. And uh, adjust it slightly. So we're uh, using HRI images is a very quick way to set up a scene for your model. So I'm going to press R twice to rotate the sun. And as you can see, we have shadows on the HDRI image. Okay, so let's go into the uh, render settings. And I'll set the number of samples to 100, which is enough. And then I'm going to go into the output settings and set the uh, resolution to uh, 4K and then do a test render. So render, and then render image. And as you can see, the uh, model looks great inside the projected HDRI image. So uh, let's try a uh, different model and HDRI image. So uh, let's uh, test out uh, snow.
and then add. And as you can see, it's automatically projected. And uh, then let's go to File, Import, and then FBX. And you can download these animated characters at uh, Mixamo. It's a free service if you sign up. And uh, then you can test out many different types of animations and characters. And then I'm going to use one of them inside uh, Blender. And then press S to uh, scale. And as you can see, the shadows are automatically added to the HDRI and it looks very realistic. So this is a very quick way to set up your scene for uh, any type of model, even when it's animated. Now, if you press G, then uh, Shift Set, you can see that the area of the projected HDRI is uh, very large. So uh, you have space for a lot of different types of animations inside these uh, HDRIs. Okay, so when it comes to the installation of the add-on, it's uh, pretty simple. You just go to Edit, and then Preferences, and then you go to Add-ons, and then you install the add-on. So uh, scroll to the top and uh, click Install. And then you select the uh, zip file that you got from the uh, download. And then you install the add-on. And then you need to select the uh, folder with the uh, HDRIs for uh, the first stage. So I collected all of the uh, .zip files for the HDRIs in one folder, which you can see here. And they're all included in the add-on. And then you need to select a uh, destination folder for uh, new HDRI images that you render, because with this add-on, you can actually render new HDRI images, which you can use as the background image. And then you just scroll down and uh, click Install to install the add-on. And you can buy this add-on in the link in the description. And this add-on includes a huge library of HDRI background images. You can create your own background images with this add-on. And it also has the HDRI projection, as I've shown you in this tutorial. So make sure to check it out. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe.